Hi everyone, it's me with Cthulhu Tale. Well, I mean, just makes sense, doesn't it? So, I am just back from Gen Con. Uh, I got home uh, last night about 1.30 uh, due to some plane problems and then uh, went right to work. So, this is the first time I've actually come back to the, the studio itself. So, a few things. I'm back from Gen Con. I guess that's the biggest thing um, and from here it's going to get very interesting because there's no conventions from here until next year so um, besides a couple small things here or there uh, Huracan that's a that's one that's a one day thing so but as far as BB BGG con or SN those I'm just not going to go to because I have plenty of content to last a lifetime believe me uh, with all the stuff that we have so pretty much let's tell you what's going to start happening uh, the end of December will be the start of um, canvas stories will be coming back because the studio that side there will finally be done and we will be able to store a lot more stuff that we have instead of storing it all on the other side there and um, we're also going to be uh, going through this palette of games that we have, we've got come in, and uh, which on Thursday, uh, the last of it will be in. So I will go through my haul from uh, Gen, uh, Gen Con then. Uh, that way I have everything so you don't have to do 19 different videos. And I think you'll be kind of surprised because I got some really some stuff that not everybody else got yes I know I, I missed you too um, so I wanted to talk about Gen Con while I was here first of all uh, you know the highs and lows of it and I'm, I'm sure you want to hear well maybe you don't want to hear the highlights or what I consider some of the lowlights uh, number one I missed being home <laughs> it, um, it, it's as simple as that yes <sighs> stupid cat she just wants to be pet all the time. So, I think um, before we get to the highs, let's just talk. Uh, well, no, we'll talk about the highs and then hit the lows. I think that's the best way to do it. Um, uh, the highlights, um, I was surprised at how many people actually knew who the heck I was. I mean, that for me was, was quite moving. Uh, being part of the Dice Tower... Um, you know, I, I've been really good friends with Z and Sam and Jason and Tom, you know, but getting to see other people who I really didn't think liked me because, um, well, particularly, you know, I'll just name it because, you know, on this channel that we're very, very honest. Um, Chaz, every time we were at a convention, I thought maybe he just didn't like me because we would pass each other and wouldn't say too much, you know, maybe a hi or whatever. But it turned out that I always thought he was headed someplace or didn't want to talk. And he always thought I was headed someplace and didn't want to talk. So finally, I turned to him and I said, wow, here we are. We're in the same booth. And this is the first time that we've actually had a chance to just sit here and maybe say something to each other. And he goes, you know, I've always felt the same way with you. I always felt that you were going someplace. And it turned out, you know, even though we are two completely different people we ended up laughing like you wouldn't believe we kept cracking each other up and he turned out to be such a great guy I, I really enjoyed him uh, really good down-to-earth guy and I you know whatever he decides to do in this business this guy deserves everyone's support because he really is a good guy speaking of great people uh, um, Mark Street board game corner go support their their site mark is the salt of the earth and he is one of the reasons why you you really want to be in this kind of uh, board game community and being part of the dice tower network um just tremendous guy chim Jeanette, the metal meeple that dude is just he just exudes cool roy uh i got to meet rodney from um uh, watch it played I, you know I usually don't bother people but he came up and shook my hand he knew who I was so that was really kind of a cool moment um, uh, 
just laughing a lot with Tom and, and, and those guys. I mean, we were just cracking each other up the entire time. And being Sam's roommate is an adventure unto itself. I will tell you that much. And I felt bad for poor Matt, who was in there. So, Matt, if you're watching this, you know, Sam and I didn't mean half the things that we said. <laughs> we, we just had, we stuck with this catchphrase and we ran it into the ground to the time to the point where Tom was just like oh my god you guys are just obnoxious Z myself that's all we did was just just laugh I mean laugh and laugh and laugh and hanging with Jason I love Jason the MVP of the the uh, convention has to go to Kenny Kenny is a tremendous asset a behind-the-scenes guy for uh, Dice Tower, Robert Searing, just a really, really great guy. And I have to say this to him, dude, he, he, only he knows what that means. <laughs> so, you know, getting to hang with all my friends for a whole week it was a lot of fun. And uh, I look forward to doing it again at some point, just not right away, maybe next year. <laughs> um, of course, you know, I go down and see the Dice Tower gang every month when we're doing things for... Um, for uh, battle and brushes, so that's a real cool thing. Will you stop whipping me with the tail? You know, I missed you, and then I come home, and now I'm not missing you that much. Dumb cat, Cthulhu cat. Um, one of the, another couple big moments was um, getting to spend some time with Ignacy, uh, a really good friend of mine. Um, I'm doing some things for him. I'm doing some things for uh, Pete at Cool Mini or not. I love those guys. They are the kindest people in the world. Um, and just and John from Gate, Gatekeeper Games. Guys, I'm going to be doing a whole thing on um, King's Armory uh, for the Dice Tower. Um, I hope you guys check that out and, and support this guy. This is one of the classiest guys you'll ever meet. I mean, I just, I just really, really enjoyed meeting a lot of these publishers, and um, you know, you know, basically them coming to me and just knowing who I was, and and for me that was very moving because I'm not the type of person to, to go, and, and we'll get into that section, in a little bit. Um, I want to say uh, there were two highlights of the whole con, and. And, and they really stood out. Um, little Ian James from uh, Component Moment, um, he, he came behind the booth uh, to meet people. And I was kind of was kind of taken back how people, you know, he would just sit there. And he's just a little guy. And he goes, hi to people. And they wouldn't even acknowledge him. So that's why in the video, I picked him up and put him on my shoulders, gave him the camera. And I said, kid, you start filming. We'll, we'll make sure that people know who you are now. And uh, we we did like a couple laps. He got a little scared because he was up pretty high, but uh, uh, his parents, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people. His um, his mom and dad, uh, you know, just very quiet, meek, and very warm people. I, I mean, they were just uh, something else. And the thing that got me, he was standing there, and I I've never met him before. And I I said, Ian, I really like what you do. And he turned to me. He goes. I really want to paint and I like your painting se segment and his father said yeah he's he talks a lot about you he really likes you a lot and then and we hit it off so we've got something planned on working together uh, in the near future uh, he told me one of the things that he wanted to paint so I think him and I are gonna do some painting together so I'm really looking forward to that he's a wonderful wonderful kid and uh, he really made me smile but I think the moment that really had it stand out is all the wonderful people that came up and talked to me you know you're going to hear that from a lot of people but I'm telling you God's honest truth and I think you guys know that I don't pull any punches that my channel to me is a very precious thing because of the community because that's what makes my channel and I've got to meet a lot of you Daniels the Eric's um, Jim uh, I mean, the list goes on and on. MG, you know, I, I'll just, I, I mean, I can go on. I could stand here and name a thousand names. But the people who came up and said how much they enjoy the 
the just, you know, welcome to my house and, and be feeling you're part of something. And that's what this channel's all about. It's not about being YouTube famous. It's a difference that we make, which brings me up to something that um, on Wednesday when I, I landed, um, I got to the hotel and, of course, uh, Sam was waiting for me. And we were just kind of hanging around for a little bit. And then he goes, hey, uh, you know, you might come with me. We've got a guy that, that's driving all the way up here to... Um, to uh to play a game and um i said yeah sure you know i'll, I'll play with you what the heck you know it was mission of mars and after of course i i rocked that mission of mars i felt you know i was the greatest mission of mars a mi mission red planet player ever to walk the the face of the earth well that's not true z is but um I think the highlight of the convention was finally meeting this guy and knowing that that um, one of his bucket list was to play a game with Sam Z and and myself. He said, um, I, "I don't know why he want to play with me, but I mean," um, and I was really touched by all the things that he had gone through. He suffered a lot, and he has a life-threatening uh, operation coming up in December which it can go either way. I mean, that's how thin the wire is. But his outlook on life, his positive nature was an inspiration to me because that's what I've done for the last year and a half is I believe in those people. I believe in you people out there that that's what this channel's about. And I'm gonna kind of work this into the, the negative things but with a positive spin. You know, a lot of channels, they're out there, and I saw it firsthand at Janet Con. It's, I'm making a few, a few games, you know, I make a few videos about games, and all you publishers owe me something. Owe me something. Not, not me, but that's the, the consensus out of there. And I'll tell you something, it, it sickened me, because I saw it at the height, at its highest, at Gen Con, okay? You know people and and I've spoke to designers and they go you know when I went to it when I went to a booth I never said hey I have a channel can I get a copy of the game so I can review it because I'm a reviewer and I'm gonna I'm gonna take care, you know my opinion matters my opinion doesn't matter it doesn't matter these are businessmen trying to make money trying to sell games and if every Tom, Dick, and Harry goes in there trying to take a game from them, they're not making money. Those boots cost a lot of money. And I know what Tom paid out. Okay? And I'll tell you, it's steep. So you're scrambling to make that money back and make yourself known so people will follow your game. And if you don't have a good game, guess what? It's a, it's a long weekend for you. So I sympathize with those guys. They give everything they have. And a lot of them are salt of the earth. You know, I have some very good friends, Ignacy, uh, Richard Launius, John Rott, um, you know, uh, Bruno Catali. I, I can go on. Brian Pope, you know, uh, I, I mean, these are just salt of the earth guys. And if you get to really know them and not ask them for things, you'll see that. But that's what a lot of channels will do. They'll go around and play it however they, you know, think, thinking that they're going to sell, sell themselves a certain way that they're just going to dump their, their load of games right upon someone. Okay, well, they've heard everything. They've seen everything. And I heard them say that because I've gone to, to Booth's and I said, listen, I'm going to make this real simple. This interests me. This game interests me. I don't want it for free. I'm going to pay you for it, but I'm going to get it up on the channel. And that's the way I handled things at, at Gen Con. Because it was things I thought you guys would want to see. I, it was something that interested me and I thought it would interest you. That's the way my community works. Other people, it's about being YouTube famous and saying that they rubbed elbows or they got a game from this company and they're in with that company, this company. Let me tell you about a real classy company and that's, and there's a number of them. Gatekeeper Games, okay, with uh, um, King's Armory, a game that I absolutely love. Okay, you know, um, I, um, there's a couple other companies out there that that are redoing a few things. All, 
all quiet on the Martian front, which I'm going to be handling in uh, extensively, and also a few other things. And those are the type of things that I really, really tried to do to bring things to you guys that you guys wanted to see. Things that, that I thought would be interesting to you guys. And when you look at this pile of games that I have coming, because I had to ship it all home because it was just it was just too much, you know, I made sure that I offered everybody. And, and, and to get back to my point, because I got distracted by my wife and I apologize, um, uh, cool many or not, Pete Shirley is one of the, the most incredible people that you will ever meet. Cool many or not, nothing but class they all recognized me they were all very nice to me and i wanted a couple games for the kids okay to play online potion explosion i'll just get that as a spoiler and it was like rob you even try to pay for it we'll kill you and i go well good luck with that bros <laughs> but the thing that killed me is that you know I have relationships with these guys because I've done things for them and done things for charity and I do things for, for people. I do things for Ignacy. I do anything that I can do to help people be successful because I believe in their products. It shouldn't be, hey, I'm so egotistical, give me your products so you can, so I, so I can, you know, you're, listen, there are big people out there, Tom, um, uh, drive through board game brawl shut up sit down those guys people should go to and give them their games they're big time people lift listen to them and respect them but they did it by breaking their back ends and earning every bit of it okay just because you make a couple of videos and you think you can go stick your nose in some place and you you got a pass to go to Gen Con okay you know it doesn't give you, you, you know you, think that you know the whole place owes you owes you everything because you made a couple of videos and that's the part that really kind of sickened me at, at Gen Con and um, you know there you know there's people that do this for a living watch it played perfect example okay a lot of people that do this for a living okay this is how they feed their families okay this is why they have relationships with these publishers and and, and and do the things that they do. I understand that. I'm talking about that little guy with a little ego that's in it to, make, to get free stuff and this is the way they're gonna do it by making a couple of videos. They're not in it about the community. They don't care about you. Okay, they don't care about you out there. They care about themselves. And there's a lot of it out there and it's disgusting and I saw it in full force at Gen Con. The other thing that really got me was I was doing some work for the Dice Tower and I was talking to different vendors and stuff like that. And I'm trying to plan out what I'm going to do on the Dice Tower because, let's face it, everybody's going to give everything to Tom and I'm trying to find the things that I don't want to do the same things as Tom. I want to go into the Dice Tower and go, well, here's something that Tom didn't notice. Maybe it's a miniature thing or a, a little independent card game. I like doing those weird off the cuff kind of things that Tom's not going to touch. Okay? So I've talked to different things and I, I remember talking to Spartan Games and in the middle of talking to the owner, guy cuts right in front of me and says, well, I'm from blah, blah, blah. It was a matter of disrespect. He didn't do it once. He did it when I was with another vendor who pulled me aside to tell me how much he loved my daughters, and he gave me a couple pillows for them. I, I'll, I'll show them when I come, when the bo when the <laughs> the pallet comes. And that's the best way to put it, the pallet. Um, and you know they were just nice. And he showed me his game that's going up on Kickstarter, and it's and it's the most unique thing. And I said, I love this. He goes, Would you paint a couple of the things for me? I go, If you accept my money, yeah, sure. If you let me buy it, I'll paint them and do a whole playthrough of it. I like doing those things. If it's something that's interests me, I'll buy it. So when it comes out later this year, that, that'll be something um, really unique that I don't think Tom's going to touch, but I will. <laughs> now, along with a few other things that when you we go through all everything that you'll really get it. But it was those type of people that have the lack of respect for anybody else that disgust me and they knew it. And I'll tell you something, I'm not somebody to cross, okay? 
I am not the nicest guy and uh, I'll tell you something I I I noticed a lot of people that are real dirt bags and I saw them and I know their sights and it is my in the next year I'm going to be happy to bury them and leave them behind because I'm going to grow this channel the way I've always grown it and this channel will be here this isn't a flash in the pan we're going to be here for quite some time I'm going to be helping Tom in the Dice Tower I'm not going to run out on him the bigger this channel gets and the bigger this channel gets it's the better for you, this community here because we're in this together when I flip on that that camera and we play together you're part of it you can say whatever you want do whatever you want laugh and have a good time as long as you're not a troll except for our, our one troll new troll that's right bro that's right Martin you're our only troll you know or just ban you we don't care we're used to it we're, we're uh, the first time it happened during a Q&A we were like well, okay what do you do here now we know how to handle trolls now we know how to handle a lot of things we're very excited about about the next year the kids are pumped when I started telling them about some of the things uh, that are happening some of the games that we're going to be painting we're going to be ahead of the curve and that's thanks to wonderful 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 publishers who you know really believe in what we do here believe in the dice tower believe in some of these other places and really have a blind eye to some of these mishmash people because they're going to be the ones that ruin this business all in all it was a great experience it was exhausting it was fulfilling I loved doing it would I do it again I guess we'll have to see how I feel next year because I have to tell you I am physically and mentally wiped after that week it's a lot it's a lot of hard work but I think the payoff is the next six months is going to be very exciting on this channel for the things that you are going to see the things that we are going to be playing it's just a matter of what do we do first okay so in all honesty on Thursday we've got a couple things going we're gonna open up all the boxes we're gonna do the video of everything I'm wondering whether to do it live I think you know I think that's actually gonna be a pretty cool thing if we do it live maybe we'll do yeah we'll do it we'll have to do it Thursday before the painting because uh, I got Thursday night live painting on the dice tower and we are going to be painting the others that's right so two weeks of the others and then we'll be playing it painted live so that's a pretty cool thing so I hope you guys will tune in the dice tower for that uh, we got plenty of content but for tonight I'm gonna take it easy I'm gonna let this video say everything for itself I've always been very honest and like I said, if I lose people because of my rants, I understand that. If I gain people, I understand that too. I'm going to be brutally honest. I'm going to do the things that are right, but I'm not going to be malicious. I'm not going to name the people that were idiots. They know who they are. They got to live with themselves. And you guys know who they are too, okay? Because you could just go to the different channels. There are great people out there. I, you know, I think of Doug Henning. I think of... Paul Darcy, I think of so many just legitimately good people. Virtue and Gamer, you know, my, my buddy from Romania, a good-hearted kid. He's somebody that really wants to do this for a living. He's passionate about it. He's passionate about his games. Be passionate about your games. Be passionate. If you're going to do a channel, be passionate about what you do. Don't think about what you can get. Think about what you can do for the community, the difference that you can make. And, and for my friend Eric, who we got to play with, um, and to finish that story and how touching and how much it meant to me, was at the end of it, um, you know, I told him I would paint a Forbidden Stars for him. Yeah, another one. Well, I got to paint mine, so I just figured I'd paint his at the same time. But, uh... I wasn't going to get sites because I didn't have time to spend time in the line. And he asked, do you want to go get it for you? I go, no, just go enjoy your con. Well, he went and bought it and gave it to me. And he would not accept anything for it. And for me, that was very, very hard to swallow. But I was very moved about this. Here's a guy that's very, he's, you know, 
doesn't know if he's going to breathe another day. And and he does something like that for me when we should be doing things for him and for others. I mean, uh, I've just been touched over the last year and a half all the people that have suffered and that we've been able to help. And I will continue to do that. That's what this channel is about, is this community. And before he left, I gave him a hug. Uh, I said, is there anything I can do for you? And he said, just pray for me. So I'm going to ask all of you to pray for my, my friend Eric. Um, he's very important to me. I'm going to stay very much in touch with him. And uh, he's got a couple surprises because he thought he had one over on me. Well, I talked to a few people and we're going to do some really cool things for me. And believe me, if you leave it in my hands, I always do really cool things. I try to at least. So um, a thank you to Pete, Ignacy, John, um, all the wonderful people I met. Um, the pinup girl, the pinup girl from Board Game Breakfast and her two friends, whose names I keep on forgetting. But the three of them, what, what are sweethearts? Maggie Bot, she was a sweetheart. She came up and said hello. A lot of people just, I never expected that would come up and say hello to me, did. And then, then there were others that knew who I was and just kind of went, but that's okay. It doesn't matter to me. Everybody got a good look at me, okay? And they know what I'm all about. And I call it the way I see it, all right? And I'm very honest. I'm very kind. I'm very loving to all of you. You're all very important, important to me. But I will tell you this. I am someone that always goes forward and never backwards. And that's what this channel will continue to do. So I know this is very long. And for those of you that sat and made it all the way through, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the coverage of Gen Con. And get ready for uh, the unboxing of where are we going to put it games, basically. As that will be coming up soon. So this is your buddy Bot Rob back with this week's vlog. vlog. People correct me on it all the time. Uh, me, Cthulhu Cat, who went off someplace. Of course, when you know we're ready to check out, Cthulhu Cat is gone. And um, thanks for being a part of this channel. You guys are the best part of it. And I'm thankful for each and every one of you. Thank you. And everyone I met, you have no idea. I've said it to you, and I will say it again, how much it means to me to have your support and to enjoy what we do here at my channel, our channel. Until next time, it's your old buddy Rob. We'll talk to you soon. And all of you, have a great weekend. We'll see you.